Hi there, my name is Lori Ertle. I'm an assistant professor at the Southeast Campus of Tarrant County College. This video is kind of a how-to video on how to make your observations and upload your data. So the uh, this is not on how to get how to create an account or what you need to do to figure out what you're doing for this project. This is once you know what you're doing, once you know what species you're tracking, once you've created your account and you're ready to start making your observations for each lesson, this is the video to watch. Remember that for each of the Citizen Science Wikis, you are going to be taking a picture of your space that you've determined that you're going to use for making your observations throughout the semester. You're going to be taking a picture of your space and you're going to be taking a picture of your data right before you submit. Those two pictures are going to go in your Citizen Science Wiki. Before you go out to make your observations, you're going to need your data sheet. So I'm here at usanpn.org backslash nature's notebook. I'm going to click on my observation deck. This is where you would log in, but I've already logged in, so it goes directly to my observation deck. Down here, I have bumblebee highlighted over here for plants and animals. You're only going to have one species, that one species that you're tracking throughout the semester. But here in the details for this organism, this is where you're going to find your data sheet. So print field data sheet, you're going to want to click on that, get your document, and print it out. That's your data sheet that you will be taking outside with you each time. The bumblebee data sheet looks like this. So you'll take this piece of paper out there with you. You'll write the date here uh, at the top um, and look for these things. These are the categories, the information that you're going to be looking for during that time. You might see some active adults. You might see some flower visitation. Um, you may see some nest building, but you may see nothing. You may not see any bees. You might not see any flower visitation. You might see nothing then you would just put no for everything and that's important information. So whatever species you're tracking knows still tells scientists some information about the fact that those species are not found there in that space at that time. Um, so each time you go out you'll be able to use that same sheet of paper. Each time you go out you'll put the date and make your observations. But that's for you to keep track of it. Each time you make observations then you're going to have to submit that information online. Uh, but before I show you how to do that, I want to quickly show a different data sheet. This would be for the eastern cottontail. This is the information that you're looking for for the eastern cottontail each time that you go out to make your observations. So if you're taking this course during the summer session, this might be an everyday kind of thing. If you're taking this course during the spring or the fall semester, then you're doing this most likely each week. Um, Another document that could be helpful is where it says print phenophase definition sheet. This document that's being pulled up right now, this one is for, I believe, the bumblebee. And this would be a document that's just going to help you figure out like when it's stating that it wants to know about any activity for adults and male adults and flower visitation, what exactly is it that they're looking for? Um, so it just gives you more details on what Nature's Notebook is interested in knowing about each one of those categories that's on your data sheet. Again, that was the print phenophase definition. I also want to point out view species profile. This is something that you could look at at the beginning of the semester or it's something that you could be looking at um, once you get to lesson 14 and you're working with the other people in your lab group to write your paper. This has good information about your species that you could use then this as a source as you're writing the introduction of the paper that you're doing as a group. And then at the bottom of this document, once again, there's more information about the phenophases. So what is it that you're looking for for each one of those categories? And you're going to find one of those one of those kinds of sheets will be available for each species. So if I was to change this and put the eastern gray squirrel, which a different group is doing, same thing. You can print out your field data sheet, that species profile, and your phenophase definition sheet if you want to. The only thing that you need to make your observations is that data sheet. That's what you're taking out there with you as you're making your observations. You'll take a picture of the space, not your data sheet, the space where you're taking your observations. So if you're taking observations at night, take a picture in the morning, take a picture, whatever time of the day it is, when you're out there, that's when you're at picture. Um, that's when you should document that image that you'll eventually submit on your Citizen Science Wiki for that lesson. Once you've gone outside for five or ten minutes, made those observations, documented on that data sheet, then you're ready to enter to enter your observations. 
and you can either enter them on the computer or you can get the app and enter them that way. I find that the app is easier to use. It's just more quick. Once you have the app and you've already logged in, then it's going to take you directly to your species because you've already identified that that's the species you're tracking. Um, and then you'll just have to highlight the things. You can take a screenshot of that right before you hit submit and submit it. Or you can enter the observation data. I just clicked on that by the computer. And so what's highlighted right now is the bald cypress because you saw that I had numerous ones listed for my entire class. You would identify the date up here and then you'll come down to where your species is and identify if it's a yes or a no for each one of the categories and sometimes it wants to know a value. Like so for this species it's do you see lots of needles or just very few needles that are starting to come out. After you have put your data into um, either the online database or using your app then you're going to hit submit observations but right before you hit submit that's when you want to take your image uh, so that you can submit that image onto your citizen science wiki. So you'll hit submit observations right there. I hope that helps with um, figuring out exactly what you're doing when you go outside each time for five to ten minutes. After you've done what you need to do to get your account set up and figure out what species you're tracking, every time you do this for a lesson it should take maybe 10 to 15 minutes total to make your observations and then submit it online. And if you use the app, it might even take less time because you can have your phone out there as you're doing your observations. So again, I hope that helps um, ask your instructor if you have any further questions. Thank you.